Hello and welcome to CareerRide.com. Here's a quick guide to ASP.NET that covers most of its topics in brief. ASP.NET is a tool for creating web application and web services. It is server-side scripting technology. It is a part of Microsoft.NET Framework. .NET Framework includes an execution engine called Common Language Runtime and Class Library. Like ASP, ASP.NET also runs inside IS. It is tightly integrated with the Microsoft Server programming, data access, and security tools. When browser requests an ASP.NET file, IS passes the request to ASP.NET engine, which after having executed, the script sends file back to browser as a simple HTML page. ASP.NET is not backward compatible with classic ASP. Unlike interpreted classic ASP, ASP.NET is compiled CLR code. Being part of CLR, it has advantage of early binding, JIT compilation, caching services, and garbage collection. ASP.NET uses ADO.NET for data access and is well integrated with VB.NET, c .NET, JScript, etc. ASP.NET provides two sets of control, HTML and server control. ASP.NET employs a text-based configuration settings and the server doesn't get restarted in case of change in setting. ASP.NET executes new code on request and thus server restart only when new code executes. ASP.NET is a part of .NET framework and is made up of several components like Visual Studio .NET Web Development Tools, System.Web Namespace, Server and HTML Controls. System.web namespace is a part of .NET framework that include classes. Server and HTML controls are the two sets of user interface component of ASP.NET. Advantages of ASP.NET Executable of ASP.NET application is compiled that runs faster than interpreted scripts. Automatic state management for controls. Introduction of VV.NET Fully support object-oriented programming. It can create new and customize server controls for existing controls. Built-in security through the Windows Server and other authentication authorization methods. Integration with ADO.NET. Fully support of XML and CSS. Built-in features for caching frequently requested web pages on server. Navigation sequence of ASP.NET web form. IS starts ASP.NET work process that in turn loads the assembly. The assembly composes a response to the user and IS returns the response to the user in the form of HTML. ASP web form components, server controls and HTML controls. Server control defines the user interface of a web form and built-in feature for saving data. HTML control are visual element provided by HTML. They are useful when complete feature of server control are not needed. Data controls connect to SQL and OLE databases and XML data files. Example of such controls are SQL connection, SQL command, OLEDB connection, OLEDB command, dataset. System components provide access to various system level events that occurs on the server. Example, event log, message queue, etc. .NET Framework includes an execution engine called CLR and class library. Shared or static members. These are class methods that can be used directly without first creating an object from the class. These members can be called from the class name. Example of such method is math class. Virtual folder. Web application can exist only in a location that has been published by IS as a virtual folder. It is shared resource identified by an alias that represents a physical location on a server. The virtual folder named localhost is the web root folder on your computer. IS determines the physical location of your web root folder. View state. ASP.NET preserves data between requests using view state. View state is available only within the web page. State variable. It allows data entered on a web page available on other web pages in an application. Application state variable. The values of these variables are available to all the users of an application. Session state variable. The value of these variables are available only to a single session. Application event handler in ASP.NET. Application start. Occurs when first user visits a page. Application end occurs when last user exit from the site. Application begin request 
occurs at the beginning of each request to the server. Application end request occurs at the end of each request to the server. Session start occurs when a new user visits a page within your application. Session end occurs when a user stops requesting pages from the web application. ASP.NET Web Form Events Page init Here server controls are loaded and initialized. Page load Server controls are loaded in the page object. Page pre-render Here application is about to render the page object. Page unload Here page is unloaded from memory. Page disposed Page object is released from memory here. ASP.NET Transaction Events Page Abort Transaction Page Commit Transaction Page Data Binding Page Abort Transaction Occurs when transaction is aborted. Page Commit Transaction Occurs when transaction is accepted. Page Data Binding Occurs when server control on the page binds to a data source. Server control events in ASP.NET Postback events Cached event Validation events Postback events cause the web page to be sent back to the server for immediate processing. These events have performance issue because they trigger a round trip to the server. Cached events save controls in the page views state to be processed when a postback event occurs. Validation events occur before the page is posted back to the server. Application domain the process space where ASP.NET worker process loads the web application's assembly. Namespace Namespace organizes code and provide protection from conflicting names. Access modifier for classes and modules. Public. Public can be accessed by all members in all classes and projects. Friends or internal. Can be accessed by all members in the current project. Protected. Can be accessed in the current class and in classes derived from this member's class. Protected friend or protected internal. Can be accessed by all members in the current project and all members in classes derived from this member's class. Private. Private can be accessed by all members of the current class only. Inheritance With this facility, base class provides methods, properties and other members to a derived class. Abstract class Abstract class defines an interface for derived classes. Abstract classes are declared with the must inherit in vv.net or abstract in c -sharp. Methods and properties of these classes are declared on must override in vv.net or as abstract in c -sharp. Delegates Delegates are strong types function pointer used to invoke one or more methods where the actual method invoked is determined at runtime. Interfaces Interfaces are similar to abstract classes except interfaces don't provide any implementation of class members. Global.asax The global object is defined in global.asax that starts automatically when an application starts. A developer can use event in global object to initialize application level state variables. Maintaining state information We can maintain state information using context.handler, query strings, cookies, view state, session state, and application state. Point to be considered for state variables. Maintaining session state affects performance and should be turned off at the application and page level when not required. Application state variables Application state variables are available throughout the current process, but not across processes. If an application is scaled to run on multiple servers or on multiple processors within a server, each process has its own application state. The web application's boundaries determine the scope of the application state. System.web and System.web.ui namespaces define most of the object including application page request and response objects. Server control versus HTML control. Server control triggers control event on the server, whereas HTML control cannot. Server control maintains data across request, but with HTML control, data is not maintained. Server control is provided with set of properties by .NET framework, whereas HTML control has attributes only. Auto postback property. Auto postback property is associated with each control, which causes the control to fire postback event. By default, this property is set to false. Validation controls. The validation controls check the validity of data just before the page is posted back to the server without a round trip to the server. ASP.NET performs control validation on the client side just before posting the web form back to the server.
Once the client side validation succeeds, the web form is validated again on the server side before the page load event occurs. ASP validation controls required field validator, compare validator, range validator, regular expression validator, custom validator, and validation summary are the ASP validation controls. Navigating between pages in ASP.NET. We can navigate between pages in ASP.NET using hyperlink control, response.redirect, server.transfer, server.execute, window.open. Server.transfer is only for ASPX page. End the current page and begin executing the new one. Server.execute begins new one while still displaying the current one. Window.open displays new browser window. Layers to data access in ADO.NET. Physical data store, data provider, data set, data view. Types of database connection in ADO.NET. OLEDB connection, SQL connection, Oracle connection. Steps to access a database through ADO.NET. Create a connection using a connection object. Invoke a command to create a data set object using adapter object. Use the dataset object in code to display data or to change items in the database. The database command object provides three command methods. Execute scalar, execute non-query, execute reader.